I'm going to go over how to find lethal dose 50% dead when you're given a data set. So you should have a paper that looks like this, and let's go ahead and read it. Three trials were run for the following experiment. 20 dead rabbits were injected with different concentrations of diclofenac, which is sodium salt and it's a treatment for arthritis. After six hours, the number of dead rabbits was recorded. And I know it's a little bit gruesome, they do test on rabbits. Um, kind of crazy. So, number one says calculate the total number of dead rabbits in the chart above. And so we're going to just add up the columns. So we're going to add up trial A, B, and C together. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. And then the next one is also 0. And then we're going to add um, at 4 milligrams per kilogram of weight. We're going to add the 4, the 3, and the 2. And we're going to get 9. And at 6 milligrams per kilogram of weight, we're going to add that together. And we're going to get 18. And then 9 plus 10 plus 12 is 31. And at 10 milligrams, we have 16, 18, and 15, which is 49. And then the last one is 60, so all of the rabbits are dead at this point. Number two, plot the total number of dead rabbit data on the blank semi-log graph paper provided below. You will need to label the y-axis. The x-axis has been done for you. Draw a smooth curve through the data points to illustrate the overall trend of the data. So we need to um, label the y-axis. And this paper mimics uh, questions that have been seen on the AP test before, even on an FRQ. So my y-axis is going to be the total uh, number of dead rabbits. If you just label it rabbits, that would not work on an AP test because that's not a number of rabbits. No, it's the total number of dead rabbits is the actual answer or the actual um, y-axis. So make sure you are very specific when you label your y-axis. And on our data sheet up here, we need to be from 0 to 60. So let's count our lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's only 10. So I can't go by f uh, 5s. I could go by 10s or maybe 7s or 8s. It, it doesn't matter. You'll still come up with the same answer. I'm just going to go ahead and go by 10s here. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Let me show you what not to do. So sometimes a common mistake on making graphs for students, and this would absolutely get you the wrong um, answer. You wouldn't get points on an AP test for this. If you just, on the y-axis, put these exact numbers that you have on your data. So if you did 9, 18, 31, 49, and 60, that would be absolutely wrong. And I know that sounds kind of funny, like who would do that? But I've seen it a lot by students. This is not correct whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse these numbers away because they are not right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead back and do this. And now I'm going to go ahead and plot my data. So one of the things I want you to notice is that it's not a percentage. This is the total number of dead rabbits. So we are not, it is not a percentage. So this is wrong. This is not a percentage. This is the total number of dead, and that's what it asked us to, um, to find. So at zero, uh, we have zero. At two milligrams, we have two. At four. Four, we have nine, so it's right below the 10 here. And at six, we have 18. And at eight, we have 31. And 
and then 49, and then 60. The next thing it asks us to do is to draw a straight curve, or a smooth curve. One common mistake from students is to do straight segments like this. This is wrong because it said a smooth curve, so if you don't do a smooth curve, you don't get points. So I'm going to erase the wrong way. And now I'm going to draw a smooth curve, and it's, it's actually hard on my app here where I'm recording to be accurate with the drawing. You can probably be more accurate than me and a little more steady with your hand. All right, so this is number two. We've just finished number two, and if you can do this correctly, you would get points on an AP test. Number three now says to calculate the LD50 of diclofenic on rabbits. Here's another common mistake. The kids are like, okay, LD50, here's 50. I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to drop it down. And that is wrong because this is the total number of dead rabbits. This is not a percentage. So the total is 60, so we want half of 60. We want 30 is the number that we're going to do. So I'm going to erase the wrong part. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line over from the 30. Carefully till it hits my curve. And then I'm going to drop it down. And by the way, um, one of the things that's not asked here but you need to know is that the curve is called a dose response curve. Just make sure you know that. All right, so uh, we're going to now read our LD50 and how you calculate it. It's not technically like a math problem. It's actually doing what we just did. And now we're going to look at this point, and that's at about a 7.9 because this is between six and eight, and you're gonna to have to count the lines. Seven's about here, and so it's about 7.8, 7.9, um, and that is milligrams per kilogram. Do not forget your units. Do not just write 7.9. You always must include units. So for readers on an AP test, they will have an acceptable range. So the acceptable range might be something like 7.6 to 8. And so if you fell somewhere in there, you would be fine on your points. However, you never write a range. You always write a specific number. The next one, label the threshold of toxicity on the graph. So the... the Threshold level is the point where before is a tolerance and afterwards you have doses beginning or deaths beginning with higher doses. And so our actual point for the threshold is right there. That is the point when deaths begin with increased dose. Sometimes there is no threshold. Um, it, you just automatically start having deaths with increased dose. But for this one, there is a threshold. This is wrong, so I'm going to show you the wrong way again. If you labeled it like this as threshold, it is wrong. Okay, It's not a range, it's an actual point on the graph. So let me get rid of that. And I want to keep this, so it's the actual point. All right, so that is page one. Let's go on to page two. So on page two, the second page, we have here some questions to solve. So the first question is number four, the LD50 for acetaminophen is 2404 milligrams per kilogram of weight. And these are actual numbers that I um, pulled off of data sheets. 
Letter A, how many milligrams of acetaminophen would be the LD50 for a 60 pound adult, or 60 kilograms? So 60 kilograms is about 130 pounds. That's not the average. That's a little bit lower than the average. The average in the U.S. is 70 kilograms of weight. But um, 60 might be an average for uh, high schoolers. So I'm going to go ahead now, and this is a pretty simple calculation. So you just multiply it by the weight of the person. And then our kilograms cancel out. And you can't use a calculator, so off to the side, you can just do your math problem. And so our answer is 144,000. 240 and it is milligrams because we crossed out the kilograms. So it would take that many milligrams to um, kill half of people that weighed 60 kilograms. So how many uh, 500 milligram tablets? So most, and acetaminophen by the way is Tylenol and Tylenol often comes in 500 milligram tablets. So what would be a lethal dose that would kill half of people that weighed 60 kilograms? And so we're just going to take our number from before, and we're just going to divide by 500, because this was milligrams and this is milligrams, and they're just going to cancel out. So go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and do this long division problem. Remember, no calculators. It does. It's not a very hard problem without a calculator. Okay, so when you go ahead and do the problem, you end up with, and you round to about here. So we're going to round up to a whole or a half tablet. So should you round up? Should you round down? When we're talking about medicine and we want to be on the safe side, we would round down to 288 tablets. But that technically wouldn't kill exactly. That would be like an LV 49.9. Um, but that's close enough. Um, the AP test won't ask you that question, should you run out, round up or down. Their problems come out even, or you should just do normal rounding to like 289 tablets, and that's fine for the AP test. Number five, the LD50 for nicotine in rabbits is 50 milligrams per kilogram. In humans, it is 0 0.8 milligrams per kilogram. So these are real numbers. So um, is nicotine more or less toxic for humans than rats? Now, usually we don't have this number. We don't test humans. We don't want to kill off humans. But because there's been a, a number of people that took too much nicotine and died, we can actually know from their deaths, the LD50. Um, so again, most of the time we don't have that number for humans, which is why we do rats or rabbits to figure out and kind of extrapolate from rats to humans. Okay, so is nicotine more or less toxic? So if you look at the number, you're like, oh, that's more. No, it's actually less toxic because it takes less to kill you. So it takes 50 milligrams to kill rats, but it only takes less than one milligram to kill humans. So, oh, I wrote less and this is wrong, it's more. So it is way more toxic for humans than rats. It takes less to kill you, which means it's more toxic. B, how much nicotine will kill half the humans who ate 60 kilograms? So we're going to, again, take the weight of 60 kilograms, same problem as before, and we're going to use the human number, so don't multiply it by 50, we're going to multiply it by 0.8 milligrams per kilogram of weight. And now our kilograms cross out, and if we do our math off to the side, we're going to get that, so it's 48.0 milligrams.
that's not a whole lot. Nicotine is actually highly toxic. Um, that's why people who make vaping solutions, they are dealing with an extremely toxic solution. All right, so let's talk about vaping C. So vape cartridges, sometimes known as e-juices, can range from zero to 18 milligrams of nicotine. How many eight milligram e-juices would it take to kill half the people who weighed 60 kilograms? Now, this is assuming the person vaped them consecutively and in a short amount of time, or if some kid wandered in and just um, drank it. Now, eight milligrams is very, very small amount. Or, um, right. So, how many would it take? So, we're going to take our LD50, which is 48 milligrams, and it says in one cartridge. We'll just say on average eight milligrams, or you can choose, apparently, I don't vape, but um, I've been told that you can choose the amount of nicotine you want in the cartridge. So this would be 48 divided by eight. This would be six cartridges. So if a kid just walked in and just drank six cartridges, they would probably die. Um, now, most people don't just vape cartridges like all in like 10 minutes. If you did that, you would probably die. Um, most people take their time with the nicotine. Um, so that's why you don't have a lot of deaths from vaping, but just remember that it is a toxic and dangerous substance. So now let's talk about nicotine patches. So if um, nicotine patches, now people who are highly addicted to cigarettes will often use patches to quit smoking um, because the nicotine is bad for you, but at least you just have the nicotine that's bad and not the smoke that's also bad. So they're, they try and wean themselves off. So oftentimes they start with 20 milligram nicotine patch and then they work their way down to 15 and then 10 and then five until they can quit. Okay, so how many patches would kill half the people weighing 60 pounds? So we found, again, from letter B, that 48 milligrams would kill half the people. And in one patch, we have 20 milligrams of nicotine. So let's do our math off to the side. So this is 2. I'm going to subtract add a zero, bring it down. This goes in evenly at 2.4. So our answer is 2.4 patches. Now, um, the, the reality of patches is that they're slow release. You actually put on one and you wear it for 24 hours or, or something like that. Um, so there are small amounts of nicotine going into the bloodstream at once, which makes them safe. If the patches all if you wore 2.4 patches and they all the nicotine went into your bloodstream at once, which it doesn't, then yeah, that can be toxic. All right, so hopefully you learned some about finding LD50 and using calculations with LD50.